Welcome to the House Flipper Mission Series. This is episode one. I'm not going to walk you through all of the skill building and stuff that I generally do in between episodes that you see in the full playthrough. For that, you'll need to see series two. This is just going to be one of those things that shows you step by step through the missions that uh, that you'll get as you start. So um, I won't read through this. As you know, when you start House Flipper, you start with absolutely nothing. There's no no tools in your tools bar. You don't have your tablet. You can't do that now, right? And um, and in general, that uh, that is where you go. You even have to clear the trash away to get into your very first office. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to head on in there and uh, we will get into our first mission. You already. Right, once you get inside your house, you are going to uh, be introduced to your laptop, which you'll click on. Oh, sorry, you'll hit E4 and uh, head in for your first mail. The first job is from Sarah Lewis, whose ex-boyfriend stole the radiator from her house. Topic, ex-boyfriend stole the radiator from my house. Hello, I'd like to hire your company to put my house in order. I know from photos posted on face spam that my ex-boyfriend broke into my house, made a huge mess and stole the radiator. So it's possible that some other things are missing too. Please clean up the house and replace the missing appliances. I would ask you not to inform the police about the whole matter. I'll settle it myself with my ex-boyfriend after returning from a business trip. Regards, Sarah Lewis. So from here you'll accept your job and you'll be taken straight to the um, your first job of the game. This is the job that will award you with your very first tool. You'll get a mop. Congratulations, you've unlocked a new tool. From now on, you'll be able to clean dirty stuff using the mop. Now, if you're into Facebook achievements, not Facebook achievements, I'll get there eventually. Steam achievements, you will want to 100% each of your houses. This will be a little difficult to do as your mini map isn't going to show you everything like it will once you've got some perks uh, built up. So, this is your perks table. Uh, as you can see, I've been doing some work off camera and I've built up my gardening skill by weeding, which I can do without any tools. Uh, and I can go ahead and I can upgrade things that will make my life a little easier. But if you go to cleaning, you can be faster. You can see dirt um, on the mini map and uh, you can get better cleaning equipment as you go. Rightio. For the Sarah Lewis job, you'll basically find that you need to Clean up all the trash. You, I mean, you probably don't even need to make the furniture look pretty, but we are going to because, um, because we can, basically. It's just the way I do things. Alrighty. The first few missions are designed to give you uh, the, the base tools that you're going to need to do your, your, uh, your house flipping. Uh, as, you, as you get more experience and more perks, you're going to get faster and... Um, and uh, more more proficient at what you do i'm just going to pop this up here and all right this introduces you to your tablet from now on you have a tablet at your disposal press the tab key to use or hide it allows you to buy things that will be handy for this task there we go we will go to the store actually we'll go to tasks in your tablet go to tasks it makes it so much easier to find what you need for your task let us assemble the radiator. You will get faster as you get more experience. Boom, and you'll notice in the right hand corner under your mini map, the task to repair the radiator is now gone. I'm just going to close the door because it's a bit of me thing. Radial wheel, we now have a mop. We're just going to go through. Now, not all of the ick is going to be on our map. So at this stage of the game, when you're just starting out, it is really handy to uh, use the old Mark 1 eyeball and, um, and make sure you get everything clean. We have just reached the threshold where we could turn in the job. Uh, you could turn in the job at this point if you wanted to. If you do that, you won't get as much money as you could make by completing it. And you will not be able to get your Steam achievement 
for 100%ing all the jobs. So um, it all depends on what you want to do, whether you just want to zip through these first jobs and get all your tools, or whether you wish to um, whether you wish to uh, maximize your you know go for your steam achievements or maximize the profit you make from each job. Uh, you don't get paid any extra for tidying up things like the candles. I just like to. Alrighty, let's have a look in here. Rukida. Don't think he made it when he was feeling ill. We have a skill point. Radio. Alright, everything in this room is complete. I'm just going to grab this dressing table. I'm pretty sure it doesn't belong here. Uh, you don't have to. It won't earn you any points. But uh, I like to have things in the right rooms. Alrighty. Let's go. We will just clean up all of this. Actually, at this stage of the game, we should also be updating our skill points as soon as we get them. So we'll just jump into perks, cleaning. We don't want to go a little bit faster. There we go. You don't have to go faster. You might want to choose a better mop. It's up to you. Alrighty. And that is pretty much how you 100% your first job. Okay, let us head on back home. We've got 100%. Let's hit enter. And we'll head on back to the shop. Alrighty, next episode we are going to look probably at cleaning the garage and uh, to, to get that one done. Then we'll go to radiators. Then we'll go to radiators and then we'll uh, go and get our first hose. But on that note guys, I am going to leave you. Thank you for hanging with me. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe and I will check you later. Take care out there.